Edmund, do you think this is your most complete game based on your uh, assist to turnover ratio and just in the way you scored? Uh, I mean, I was more worried about how I played on defense. I think I got a, uh, I had a lot of energy out there. I think I sparked us on defense. Uh, and then I think it just opened up the offense, actually just making the right plays, letting the game come to me. And uh, yeah, it started with the defensive end, though. Coach Max said you've been dealing with a little bit of a hand issue that might have bothered you against Wake Forest a little. You didn't have any tape on your hands, or you did that? Yeah, that I, yeah I don't know. I'm a little superstitious in the tape. Like, it just. It just felt like every time I had no control over the ball when I was passing it. So I just had to suck it up and just play through the pain. Was that a cramp you had at the second half? Yeah, yeah, my calf. Is, is that concerning to you now? That's because it's kind of a fairly recurring problem for you. Uh, no, I mean, it happened like three times. I don't really think it's a big problem. How do you fix something like that? Uh, staying hydrated. I was a little probably a little dehydrated today. Uh, yeah, I mean, for us to be good, we need our role players to step up and uh, gain the confidence. So, like, for me to see Kaiser out there making big shots uh, is a good sign. I mean, we have to be deep to be, for us to compete in the Big East. So, for our role players to step up and start to uh, do their part, I mean, it's a good sign. Coming back from the, from the knee surgery, was tonight maybe as good as you felt? Um, and overall? Yeah, overall, I would say that's the best I've felt. I felt a lot more loose than I usually do. Um, I felt a little more bouncy. Didn't really show up, but I did. Was it getting frustrating for you a little bit? You come back, you're so anxious to get out there, and then you just can't can't make shots that you normally would put down. Um, yeah, it gets frustrating, but I know it'll all come with, come in time. How, how important was? I know you've been putting some extra work. You know, even after the last game, I saw you in the oxygen putting in a workout. How important has that extra work been to get back on track? Um, I I feel like it's helped me get in the rhythm. Um, have, especially having my teammates like Ed, Trey, Jay, all of them uh, telling me to shoot the ball when I'm open, just kind of helped me build confidence. Do you feel 100% physically? Yeah, I feel really good physically right now. Do you still think about your knee when you're playing, or are you looking at No, I don't think about it at all. Is that new, or is that the way it's been for you for a while? Um, I try to never think about it, to be honest. The game turned in the first half, down by 11, and then 35 to 8, you outscore them to close the first half. What what kind of changed the the tempo or the tide there? Uh, us being aggressive on, de on the defensive end, I mean, that was something Coach Mack uh, stressed in practice. He wanted us to be aggressive against them. And uh, we kind of was playing a little passive, and we didn't have any energy, I guess. And they came out hitting shots, and they kind of woke us up. I mean, we didn't want to be in a dog fight, so we had to pick it up. Uh, no, I mean, our, uh, we had a little different uh, defensive scheme, I would say, but uh, yeah, we kind of were all our pack line. Uh, so when we, like, maybe the third war, Coach Matt kind of told us we got to get back in our pack line. We just kind of out trying to deny it a little bit. But. Ed, can you describe what's going on with your hand, what you feel during games when you're playing? I don't know. It happened in, uh, I think, Colorado. Uh, but I don't know. It's just. Every time I catch or dribble the ball, it's kind of it's just it's just nagging, and it can't heal because I mean I'm practicing every day. But I mean it's gotten better. But sometimes in practice, I just reheard it. So we've been doing like little tape jobs and stuff. But uh, man, it's it's getting better. Hopefully these next couple of days while I'm at home, just get some rest, stay off it, so we can just get get good for the Big East. Kaiser, looking forward to, to going home and seeing family. Um, yeah, it's always a good thing to see family, especially when you've been away from them for a while, so I'm looking forward to it.